I bought some new knives and they're hecka sharp. <laughs> I'm telling you, these knives are so sharp. I cut myself taking them out of the freaking box. Oh my goodness. Welcome to the Budget Mom YouTube channel. I'm Kamiko Love from thebudgetmom.com and today we are doing something really special. As most of you guys know, all through the month of December, I have been doing crock pot recipes. We're calling it crock pot December. And today I wanted to share with you one of my favorite crock pot recipes that I've tried this month. It's easy, it's simple, and it's fast. And it's affordable. So I'm gonna be showing you today how to make ziti with bell peppers and sausage. Uh, it can be chicken sausage, Italian sausages. I like to use the pre-cooked chicken sausage and that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. Eight ounce of tomato sauce. 28 ounces of diced tomatoes, fresh cut basil, shredded mozzarella cheese, eight ounces of ziti pasta, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, 12 ounces of fully cooked chicken sausage, one bell pepper, yellow and red. So one of the first things I'm gonna do for this recipe is I'm gonna be using a fully cooked sausage. Now the recipe calls for Italian sausage, but I actually get my uh, cooked chicken sausage from Costco and I like the black pepper uh, cooked sausage. So what you need to do is you need to cut, so 12 ounces is really four cooked sausage links um, with the Costco ones that I buy. So you wanna cut it right down the middle of the sausage. And then as soon as you have it cut through the middle, you wanna slice sideways. And that's how you wanna cook or cut your uh, sausage for this recipe. And you wanna do 12 ounces like that. into our crock pot. So you want to dump the first seven ingredients into your crock pot. So our cut up cooked sausage, your bell peppers. This is the time you also want to add your sauces, sauce, your pasta sauce and your diced tomatoes. Now you can also add salt and pepper to taste. I always like to add the salt and pepper when it's fully cooked because then I can choose and decide how much I want in my bowl, my personal bowl. But you also want to add your Italian seasoning at this time as well. So once all of that is in your crock pot, you want to make sure that you get all of your sausage coated with all the sauces and that Italian seasoning mixed in there really well. So I have that all mixed. Now this is what you want to get cooking on either seven hours on low or three to three and a half hours on high. And if you notice, we do not have the noodles in there yet. You don't want to place the noodles in there until after that time. And once you add the noodles, then you're going to want to cook it for an additional 25 to 30 minutes. But if you add the noodles in at the very beginning, they become soggy. So this right here that we have added into the crock pot, seven hours on low, three and a half hours on high, and then add the noodles and cook for an additional 25 to 30 minutes. So one thing I wanna mention is after your meal is fully cooked in the crock pot, I like to sprinkle mozzarella cheese on top of the, the finished and cooked meal inside the crock pot and even put some fresh basil, fresh basil in there as well. Put the lid back on, let that melt for about five minutes, and then you have a full finished dish. 
So this has been sitting in the crock pot cooking for about seven hours and it is done now, seven hours on low. Um, and then what I did was I added the noodles into the crock pot um, about 25 to 30 minutes before that. That way you don't wanna cook the noodles um, all at once this whole time. So you wanna add those in towards the end, but this is what it looks like in the crock pot. Okay, so the crock pot, this crock pot meal is great because not only is it fast and affordable, but it's also gonna give you a ton of leftovers. So if you're looking into bulk prepping or bulk making maybe lunches ahead or dinners for leftovers the, other, the next night, this is a great recipe. It makes a ton of food. So once I am ready to transfer it to my Tupperware, you'll see how much food this actually makes. And it's one of my son's favorite recipes too. He loves the pasta. So for us, it's great for leftover dinners, lunches on the weekend. Most of the ingredients in this recipe too are things that you already have lying around your kitchen. So tomato sauce, tomato, uh, diced tomatoes, pasta, and you don't even have to use ziti. It could be any other type of pasta. Okay, so this one recipe made this entire Tupperware of food. Um, and that's with me eating a bowl of this before we got on video. Um, so totally worth it. Put my seal lids. If you're wondering about what Tupperwares I use for my leftovers and what I use to write on my Tupperware, I like to actually write down what it is in the Tupperware and the date that I put it in the fridge and make it because that way you know how much or how long your leftovers has been sitting in the fridge. I'll put a uh, link to the in the description of the video for these products. Another really quick tip that I want to mention is if you do a ton of crock pot meals. Now, the one thing that I have learned about crock pot December and the one thing that I've really taken away is the time that it gives me in the evening. It's really freed up a ton of time with my son in the evening, gives me time to work on things if I need to for work, um, is if you're going to be doing a ton of crock pot recipes like I have in the month of December, pick up some of these disposable crock pot bags. It makes cleanup super easy. Look, my crock pot's completely clean um, and you're ready to go for your next crock pot meal the next day so you can just throw these away. So this has been my favorite crock pot recipe in the month of December. Fast, easy, affordable, all three of my favorite things. If you found this video helpful, please like it and don't forget to subscribe. 12 ounce of fully cooked to, oh. <laughs> <laughs> And get that sausage fully coated with all of your sausage. You said get the sausage coated with all your sausage. I did. Yeah. <laughs> sausage, yum, okay.